Alright, welcome to Condo 450, where we're going to learn about cytochrome P450, the inducers and inhibitors of cytochrome P450. So let's begin on the first floor of this condo with the inhibitors. On the first floor, we see this sign over here, representing the famous mnemonic for the cytochrome P450 inhibitors. Sick faces come when I'm really drinking grapefruit juice. I guess this guy over here on the first floor was just drinking grapefruit juice and he got really sick. So he's saying, Sick faces come when I am really drinking grapefruit juice. So let's explain what this is all about. S is for sodium valproate. Sodium valproate is used for epilepsy and bipolar. So S for sodium valproate. And if you forget that that's what it's for, this guy over here is actually a valet parker. So he has the valet parking logo over here. Valet for valproate. Next, I. I is for isoniazid, and if you forget that, he also has ice on his jacket over here. He likes to have this picture of ice on his jacket, and I don't know why, but ice for isoniazid. Isoniazid, of course, is used for tuberculosis, and it's a cytochrome P450 inhibitor. C. C is for cimetidine, an H2 blocker. And if you forget that, this guy over here is sighing. <sighs> In his nausea, he is sighing. Sighing for cimetidine. K is for ketoconazole. And if you forget that, he is holding his key over here. Key for ketoconazole. He also uses this key over here as a flute sometimes. Flute for fluconazole, another antifungal. And that's what the F is for. A is for acute alcohol overuse. Actually, if you take a look, he has a picture of a really cute alcohol bottle on his jacket. Acute alcohol for acute alcohol overuse. C is for chloramphenicol. E is for erythromycin and clarithromycin, and S is for sulfonamides. Well, how are we going to remember that? In his apartment, this mouse likes to come along. This mouse over here actually has some pretty sharp claws. So claws for chloramphenicol, mice for erythromycin and clarithromycin, and this mouse over here likes to travel on the surfboard for sulfonamides, the antibiotics. Alright, back to our mnemonic. C is going to be for ciprofloxacin, a fluoroquinolone, O for omeprazole, and A for amiodarone. How are you going to remember that? You might have noticed that there was a picture on the floor of this room. This is his grandmother, Amy. She's very particular about her grandkids having a picture of her on their floor. Oma Amy. Oma is German for grandmother, so this is Oma Amy. Oma for omeprazole, and Amy for amiodarone. Alright, let's just finish up. R is for ritonavir, and of course grapefruit juice is for grapefruit juice. So again, the cytochrome P450 inhibitors are sodium valproate, isoniazid, cimetidine, ketoconazole, fluconazole, acute alcohol overuse, chloramphenicol, erythromycin, clarithromycin, sulfonamide, ciprofloxacin, omeprazole, amiodarone, ritonavir, and grapefruit juice. And now let's move on to the cytochrome P450 inducers. Here we have St. John's Funny Funny Mom. And she never refuses greasy carbs and chronic alcohol. She probably says something like, Oh, I love greasy carbs and chronic alcohol. Yes, she is quite weird. Well, let's just quickly go over what this is all about. St. John's, of course, for St. John's wort, for depression. Funny, funny, for phenytoin and phenobarbital, which are anti-epileptics. Mom, for modafinil. Never, for nevirapine, which is used in HIV AIDS. Rifampin, of course, is an antibiotic, and that's what the riff is for. Greasy, for griseofulvin, an antifungal. Carbs for carbamazepine, for, e for epilepsy and trigeminal neuralgia, and of course, chronic alcohol for chronic alcohol overuse. <sighs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the cytochrome P450 interactions. Take care.